Well, my dark horse in the West is actually the New Orleans Pelicans. When I oh. think about what they have in the depth and what Zion Williamson has been doing, do you know since the All-Star break, he ranks number three for his points in the paint? He's been making sure that he gets everyone involved. C.J. McCullen has been balling out of control, averaging a little under 20 points a game. Brandon Ingram, we don't talk about him enough. A younger version of Kevin Durant when it comes to the offensive end, being able to get to his spots, rise up over you know guys that are smaller than him, knocking down crucial shots, tough shots. And then when I think about the wings, right, you look at the kid Murphy. Um, you look at Jose uh uh, Jose, uh, yeah, Alvarado, right? Coming, Alvarado, come, Alvarado, Alvarado. Yeah, Alvarado coming in off the bench, picking up 94 feet. Big Valentun is down in the paint, uh, yeah, you know, Kelsey just, Swin. Yeah. just anchoring the defense. So when I think about the New Orleans Pelicans, yep. they're my sleeper well, to come out of the well, Western. Let, let, oh. let me say this. Let me say this to you. And, 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 and it was some noise, you know, over the weekend because of how they tried to troll me because I called them out. Let me say this, and I'm dead serious. You know, we don't have to get into the details, but we have to make sure that the level of discipline that Zion is presently exercising is something he will continue to exercise as the season progresses because there, there's a lot on the line. We look at them, and I totally agree with you about their depth. Yeah. I believe in Willie Green as a coach, but in the end of the day, it's been 22 years. They've got two playoff series wins. But, but let me say many, this. They've got as many names over the last 22 years <laughs> as they do playoff series wins. Two. But let me... Let me say this. C.J. McCullen during the All-Star break mm -hmm. was on NBA Today, yeah. and he said the accountability that they have in the locker room and the way that they're able to be open and honest, I think Zion is going to be perfectly fine. So, okay. And I will add this, only because I just had their they game. They also got some size on them, too. They, they have terrific size. Herb Jones was a name you didn't mention. Mm -hmm. in terms yeah, of I like her. I and like her. he should be all defensive team. He's upped his game offensively. Going into Wednesday's game, they had had 15 different lineups. Yep. And Zion had played about 80% of his game going into Wednesday's, right. ga wow. Wednesday's game. And so there is something happening there. They're very focused on being out of the play-in, having both won right. and been successful in the play-in mm -hmm. and lost last year in the play-in. But I like that as a dark hat.